Alrighty, welcome back to NTV's Get Life. Well, we've all heard about comfort dogs, but yes. have you ever heard of a comfort horse? No, can't say I have. Well, our Good Life guy, though, Brian Ganuzzi has. He joins us now to tell us about it in this edition of Guide to the Good Life. Good morning. Good morning to you. Well, a lot of viewers probably find horses comforting, but to be a comfort horse, it has to be a horse of a certain size. True. So today we get to meet Jet the Horse and his owner, Terry Edeal from near Lexington. The two are just getting rolling on their goal of creating smiles all over central Nebraska. Come in. Terry is doing a little last minute cleaning before heading in to meet the residents at Avamir in Lexington. I retired in July and I knew I wanted to do something special or different with my retirement and I've always loved horses. He likes to visit here. <laughs> so she put out a request on Facebook to find an extra small miniature horse that was young so she could train him. It didn't take long before an owner from St. Labore offered her jet at no cost. I got him and he's just been a joy. He has been so much fun and he's very calm. I think I got something to eat, don't you? <laughs> and receptive, intelligent. He picks things up real easily. Terry took online courses for herself through the company Pet Partners to get certified, then traveled to Hastings to get Jet certified to be an official comfort animal. They were amazed at how calm and easygoing he is, which is perfect for what we need to do. It's amazing. They just light up. You know, they want to pet them, they want to visit with them, and every single resident wants to be a part. So we do appreciate Terry coming and taking the time to be able to visit with all of our residents. <laughs> they grew up with horses, so having a horse, you can't always have a big horse in there, but to even a little one, they can relate to, which is fun. He comes visit us quite often, so we love him. I grew up on a farm, but just had horses for the field, you know, mostly. Didn't have pet horses like this. My parents had a team, you know, and farmed with a team, and that's about it. But we, uh, we didn't pet, didn't have a horse to pet. You like to lick my hand. <laughs> He's so friendly and can do so many things that we do. Some of those things include wearing tiny cowboy boots and having his teeth brushed. There we go. He has picked things up so easily, just like the shaking. I mean, I only had to show him a couple times, and he would shake hands and kiss, and he does all those kind of fun little things. The hardest thing has been the potty training, but we're getting there. It's just slow. So she carries a red bucket along just in case of an accident. But on this day, he went all over the complex with no problems. <laughs> I've taken him to schools. And, you know, little ones will come and just kind of crowd him all of a sudden. And you would think that would frighten him, but it doesn't. He's really done well. I, I'm really happy with him. That a good boy. It's a lot of fun. It's really a, a blessing. And I feel like um, I think he can be a blessing to other people, too. And that's the main reason I'm in it. Brian Ganuzzi, NTV's Good Life, Lexington. If you are interested in having Terry and Jet come visit you or your facility, her email address is listed right here. Otherwise, we'll also have it in the um, uh, website story later today. And kind of exciting, we actually do get a visit from Terry and Jet later today. So, yeah. I'm, so assuming they're on the way trucking here to be yes. on that, to join us later in the show. So, mm. so very fun. So, yeah, because there's still so much more to ask her about mm -hmm. and talk about. You know, you can only fit so much in a in a story. But great story and just the smiles that he brings to well, the people he visits brought us just watching that. Yes, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah you, you just don't expect it. Expect it coming. Uh, yeah, you're like that is a horse. Yeah, inside. <laughs> like what you said. If you're driving down the road and you see the old jet's head sticking out the window. Yeah. Yeah, that would kind of shock you. Wait a minute, that's a horse, not a dog. That is adorable. She says they're quite the hit in drive throughs because ah. he likes to he likes to know what's going on. So, so, so she sticks funny. his head out the back window right at the drive thru. That's so, hysterical. So I'm guessing she hits a few extra drive throughs <laughs> well, just for the yeah. fun of it. So. But what a blessing. What a blessing. Very funny. Can't Great. wait to meet her. Yep. Thank you, yep. Brian. You bet. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.